Hello and welcome. My name is Angie Holden and I'm the blogger behind The Country Sheet Cottage. So today we're going to talk about applying vinyl with a wet vinyl application technique. Now this video is sponsored by Cricut, however all projects and opinions are my own. So why would you want to apply adhesive vinyl to a surface while it's wet? So two reasons. My favorite reason for using this technique is to eliminate those bubbles. So if you've ever applied a large piece of adhesive vinyl to a non-porous surface like glass or in this case metal, you may notice that you get bubbles underneath that flat surface. When you use water to apply your vinyl, it helps to push those air bubbles out and eliminate those from your final project. The second reason I love the wet vinyl application method is because it allows you to kind of float that vinyl on the surface and get it exactly in location before you commit to actually sticking it down. Now, I have other hacks for locating vinyl that you might like better. I'll link to a few of those in the description below. Pick and choose from the hacks. Try a few, see which works best for you. Perhaps wet vinyl application will work best or perhaps another one of the hacks that I've shown in the past. I do want you to be sure to stay tuned to the end of this video so I will have some answers to some frequently asked questions. So if you're asking yourself, will the vinyl last as long? And what if I wanna do more than one color? I see you've only done one color here, Angie. Wait until the end of this video and I'll answer those questions. So for now, let's take a look at the supplies we're gonna use and make a couple of cute trays with the wet vinyl application method. For this project, you'll need your Cricut machine. Any Cricut machine will work because we're gonna cut vinyl. I'm gonna use my Explore 3. I'm using Cricut Premium Vinyl, the permanent version. You'll need some transfer tape and of course, whatever surface you're gonna put it on. Now this works best on hard surfaces like glass or in this case, galvanized metal. And then we need a spray bottle with some water and maybe like just one small drop of dish soap, especially in a bottle this small. I use just the tiniest drop. It does seem to help a little bit, but you can probably skip that if you don't have dish soap or don't wanna use it. So now let's head to Cricut Design Space and look at the designs for our project. All right, so you can use any design you want with this technique. I've chosen a couple as examples. Now, both of these are single layer designs, meaning that I'm gonna cut them all out of the same color. You can do that, or you can use this with multiple colors. And I'll talk a little bit about multiple colors and this technique at the end of this video. Now, for these two, I went ahead and measured the bottom of the tray. I used like a sewing tape measure to do that so I could take into account the sides, which are tapered made sure my designs would fit in the bottom of the tray, and then I'm going to attach them together. Now, how did I get these designs? These are all images in Design Space, and if you'll click Images and Search Images, I actually searched for Scandinavian, and there are the designs I chose. Now, you can search for anything you want in Cricut Design Space and find images that work with your project that you have in mind. So I chose two images and added them, and I'm just gonna click everything and click attach. And now when I click make it, I'm actually using my Explore 3 for this. So it does ask me if I wanna cut without a mat. For this, I'm going to cut on the mat. And then you can see that both of my designs actually fit on a 12 by 12 sheet. So two trays, one 12 by 12 sheet of vinyl, not bad at all. So let's head to our Cricut Explore and cut our vinyl. I put my vinyl onto a light grip mat. You do wanna put it with the liner side down. So in this case, the grid side, of the Cricut vinyl goes down on the sticky part of the mat. And now that we have our vinyl on the mat, let's head to our Cricut machine and cut. Vinyl cuts with the fine point blade, so I have that installed in my machine. And now I'll just load my mat. Then we just press the go button to cut. Once your cut is complete, just press the button to unload your mat. And now let's head and look at weeding the vinyl. All right, you will also need a weeding tool as well as a scraper for this technique. And I do prefer the large scraper. And for anyone that noticed that I had translucent vinyl in that first shot, you get bonus points because I cut it and did not notice. So now I actually have the white on my mat and it's cut. So now let's actually weed our design. So I like to leave my vinyl on the mat a lot of times to weed it and I just pull down from the corner and just start pulling it away, removing all the excess from around the outside. And then we'll also remove anything like the centers of the leaves and the letters. So let me go ahead and weed this entire sheet 
and then we'll talk about transferring it. So I've weighted the two projects that I'm gonna be doing, and I'm gonna do this one first, which is three like woodland animals with detailed cutouts in them. Here are my two weighted pieces of vinyl, and then I cut transfer tape to approximately the same size. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply the transfer tape to the vinyl, and we're gonna do these woodland animals first. So the number one reason I like this technique is for projects that have a large surface area that's against the blank, that would tend to get bubbles in it. So this technique mostly removes bubbles. So that's the first reason that I like it. So let's try this one first. So I'm just going to apply the transfer tape to the vinyl and burnish it down really well. Then we'll just flip that over and peel back the backing paper from the back, leaving just the vinyl on our transfer tape. So here's our vinyl completely on the transfer tape and now we wanna apply it to our surface. So you can see that this one has large areas that will be pressed against the blank, which could trap bubbles under the vinyl. So let's float it with some water as we're applying it to eliminate most, or if not all, of those bubbles. To do that, we'll just apply the water to the surface and it could just be, just barely damp is fine. Like it doesn't have to be a ton of water. Then you can also just mist the back of your vinyl just to make sure everything's wet. And then we'll turn it over onto our surface. So since everything's wet, we have a few minutes to play with the vinyl and we can kind of locate it so it's not sticking as you can see but it will in a few minutes. So let's go ahead and get it located where we want it. Then once it's located into place, we can kind of start pushing that water out. And then I let, just let this dry just like 60 seconds, maybe 90 seconds. And you just keep pushing out that water. And you can actually use a paper towel and just sort of pull the water up, remove the paper towel, push more out, and just keep repeating until everything seems to be really dry before we remove the transfer tape. Then once you think you have everything pretty dry, go ahead and start trying to peel this back. If it lifts, it's probably, the, the water is probably not all the way out, so just keep pushing more of that water out and drying until the vinyl is really stuck down onto your surface. And then once it's stuck down, we'll just peel back the transfer tape, leaving the vinyl on your surface. You may find some water in some areas like this where there's not a lot of vinyl and you can just sort of dry that up as you go along with a paper towel. Remove any additional moisture that's on the surface and you'll wanna burnish down your vinyl even more, just in case there's still some water underneath some of your pieces. Once everything is on there and dry, your project is ready. With this design, you would not have to use the wet application technique, but it, the one thing I do like about it is that it helps you locate your design actually on your surface. So it's a great way to float your design on the surface until you get it exactly in place then press all that water out just like last time. So the application method is exactly like last time. However, you would not have to use it with a design like this, but you might wanna give it a try and see if you like it. All right, so now that you see how easy it is, let's talk about applying two colors. So you could do two colors in a similar method. One, you could do one color with wet vinyl application method, and you can apply another color on top. Two, you could layer your pieces on your transfer tape and then apply them all at one time with the wet vinyl application method. So you could do it either way, but this method will definitely work for one, two, three, four, however many colors you have in your project. So just kind of play around with the application for two colors and see what works best for you. And the second question I get all the time with this method is, will my vinyl last as long? So this application method actually comes from people that apply vinyl stickers to cars because it helps get those bubbles out when they're applying the vinyl to cars. So when I've used this method, I haven't seen any deterioration in how long my vinyl lasts on my project. 
Now, I get comments all the time. There'll probably be some in the comment section below that says that you should not use this method with Cricut Vinyl. I haven't had any issues using it with Cricut Permanent Vinyl. That's in my experience. I would say try it out if you would like to. Try it on metal, try it on glass, see how it works for you. And you know, like test it. Does it last as long? Because it seemed to stick to the surface as well. One thing I would caution you, you need to allow this project to dry for at least 72 hours, 72 hours before like testing it, putting like a mug in the dishwasher or anything like that, because it does take that long for the adhesive to bond with whatever surface you're putting it on. And that's whether you do the wet vinyl application method or not. So I find people stick it on and like five minutes later, they're trying to peel it off and saying, this is coming right off. Yes, yes it is because you didn't wait the 72 hours. Still wait those 72 hours, then give it a test for yourself. See if you think if this method will work for you. I think you might like it. So thank you guys so much for joining me. If you have any questions about this method, please ask those in the comment section below. If you like this video, learn something new, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already, head on over to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. We have videos like this every week and trust me, you don't wanna miss any of those. So thank you guys so much for joining me and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.